My name is Brad Patterson. I'm here to offer up some super cool summer dog tips for your DOG for Castanet. Now listen to this. We have some very interesting surfaces around here. We have the roadway, we have a uh, metal plate on the sidewalk, we have the concrete itself. But did you know, did you know that there are so many different variables that happen here? When we have the bright sun shining down from, from that great universe up there, it warms the surface. And when it starts to warm this down here, that's one temperature. But if I go to put my hand on this metal piece, whoa, I can leave it here for what? Four, five, six, and seven seconds, and it is stinging. So, if you're going to cross the road, you want to take a look around. Do you have an option? Do you have grass to put your dog on? Can your dog maybe sit here? Is there a flower bed that's a little cooler surface for your dog's paws? Because if these paws start to overheat and they get really, really hot, then they can also blister. And when they blister, they start to hurt, don't they, Kaya? And that's not a good thing. So be conscious about where you're going to walk your dog, what time you're going to walk your dog, and how long it's going to have to stay in one spot. So again, on these hot summer days, do not have your dog in one spot for very long like Kaya and Rudy are. So happy walking me with your DOGs. Stay safe and stay cool. Let's go, dogs. Wow, another hot summer day. And our little buddies, they always need H2O. And here's one thing about the heat. The heat can kill a dog. It can bring a dog right into heat exhaustion. And if you don't catch it soon enough, well, all of a sudden you rush to the vet. Maybe your dog lives, maybe it doesn't. So let's make sure your dog stays healthy, cool, and happy through these hot summer days. If they're seeking shade like Rudy is right now, allow the dog to get into shade. If the dog wants to stand in the sun, then you can allow that because the dog knows how to regulate their temperature. So here's one super cool thing. This whole water tip that you're going to learn today is something that is mandatory for all of my clients and I want you to make it mandatory for yourself. Okay, so we have our water bottle, but we also need a buddy because this is about a buddy system. We have our little, our little four-legged poocheroo who's laying in the, in the shade, and you can take a look at Rudy's head. It's very dry, his tongue is not poking out, he's not panting, nothing like that. So this is something that we want to do preventative maintenance. And when we do preventative maintenance, it's going to really take a lot of strain and stress off of our little, fur, our little furry buddy. So. When we go to do this, it's about keeping the head cool to keep the core temperature of the dog down. So there's a three-step process. It's one, two, three, and then there's the shake and bake at the end, which is always the best part. So you cup your hand above the eye line, and you have your hand on the collar so you can control the dog's head, and then you have your super cool buddy who's going to be pouring the water. They'll be the fountain, if you will. All right, so good. And you're gonna scrunch, 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 nice and slow. You wanna check and make sure that the water has penetrated the scalp. Now, here's the most important thing the third amount of water pour into my hand, and you now draw the water up their head and you let it soak. Soak, 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 soak. You scrunch it in, and the best part is the shake and bake. Yay! And this is where you want to celebrate your dog cooling off on one of those amazing hot summer days here in the Okanagan. With Castanet, Brad Pattison, Carrie Lessick. If you guys ever need any more dog tips, go to bradpattison.com. We'll see you soon. All right, buddies, let's go. Hustle!